tough game last night, but we, we're moving out. We're gonna we're gonna come out strong today, and uh, we, uh, we we feel confident going into today's game. Hey, 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 hey. Hi. I usually do the stand up thing with you guys when I feel that I don't I don't sense your energy right now. You don't have the option to sit here and feel sorry for yourself from yesterday. The only option you have is to sit here and rebound and come out and hit someone today. This game features the Patriots of American Heritage High School from Plantation, Florida, and the Vikings of Bishop Earl High School. Wednesday's game, I mean, I got in foul trouble early in the game, you know, and I had to sit on the bench real early and watch my team play. I mean, I feel like I kind of let them down, you know, because we ended up losing on Thursday. I came out strong with the first 11 points. more if we gave it to them. Why? Because the offense is good. We've played nine and you've won eight, so congratulations on the win. I'm going to tell you today it's our ugliest win. Coach Fight, the final rebounding number, sir? 41 to 15. <laughs> and you won the game somehow, man! I felt today was the least we played together. The Rubik's Cube, it's a fun thing to do because, you know, I mean, you can do all kinds of cool little tricks and show people what you do and they think, you know, oh, wow, you're cool, you can do the Rubik's Cube, you know? And, you know, it's just an awesome thing to do. People think you're like Brainiac or something, and really, it's not that hard, but, you know, it's a little secret. I was in kindergarten, and a teacher came up to me, and, he said, and she said, uh, Jared, you're a smart boy. We're going to put you in the gifted class. Right then and there, I knew I was a smart boy, so I knew right away. Good stuff, easy. Let's see if you can get this one. just started uh, two days ago. I think my record time was like three minutes and... All right, five seconds. Three, two, one, go. One minute. Pass. One minute pass. It's really cool how fast you can do it. I mean, in three minutes, and to have a fully jumbled in the Rubik's Cube and be able to observe it. And Twist them around. Well, I'm doing pretty good. I'm about to solve the second row. And when you look at him doing it, you, you may think, what is he doing? All these colors are going in wrong directions. In which, three moves later, you're going to be like, wow, you actually put the entire thing together. We are now at one minute and 45 seconds. My goal is to get under three minutes. Uh, had a little challenge with that already. Almost got it. Got a little stuck, though. Uh, stuck. Brand new cube, gotta break it in. Got 40 seconds. 15 seconds. Done. Three minutes and 15 seconds. Ah, right on the dot. Man. You need to make sure I expect to bring the applause. I'm sorry. Man, buddy ain't even got no neck. That Coach Hurch? I don't know who that is. Number 22. Damn. That's me. Hey. <laughs> That's me. Why are your feet so big, Bob? I don't know. <laughs> Why is my hair like that? All right, let's draw Jamal right now. Chest pass. Chest pass. He's playing a team from inside Chicago in the public school league who is a different mentality than we are down for. I'm telling you now. Here's what they're gonna do to you. And I like it. They're gonna come full court, 
32 minutes. This is JMO? Yeah. With a double deuce. Yes. <laughs> I'll leave it there for motivation. We didn't come out as strong as we were supposed to. We came out a little light and they hit us and we, we realized that we had to bite them back. You take a jab in your mouth before you start going like that. You show them that a lot. When I come in here and tell you that's one of the better teams in, in the Chicago Public League and you come out here and you go slow the first five minutes, that was not you. It was almost embarrassing for you, but the best part about it was that you came back and you just battled. Hit them! Hit them! Like I'm telling you right now, you guys are like one, two, three. Go ahead. After being down by so many points and then we seeing what we had to do to you know, make adjustments at halftime and then we came out with a little bit more energy. Sometimes when you go to these big tournaments in the City of Palms, for example, you're going to play at odd times, times we don't usually play. 8.30 games in the morning, they don't come around much, but you know, in the summer, we played a lot of them. I mean, I feel like every game is like a regular game. I mean, when you get into it, you know, like when the game starts, it doesn't matter what time it is, it's just the waking up part. There weren't a whole lot of people here to see it, but boy, did they miss out on a fantastic performance and a fantastic game. Before the game, I wasn't feeling good. I mean, I had hurt my, I had hurt my thigh. I had got needed in the thigh, so I was kind of limping when I walked. But I mean, as soon as the game started, I, I, I really didn't feel it, you know, to the end of the game. But I'm good now. And he came out, and you kind of get the feeling, you get the twinkle in his eye when he kind of feels it. We've seen it in uh, Tennessee when he got 50. We've seen it a few times this season when he's got 45. Right after halftime, I mean, I came out and I hit a three, you know, and I just, every shot I shot, I mean, I was hitting, so I felt like I was feeling it then, and then when I came down and I had a deep shot, I mean, I, I knew I, I knew I was on at that time. Oh, it was. I mean, I felt like I got the 50 kind of early, but, you know, I had the crowd into it by that time, so, I mean, it was just me and the crowd then, and the player was guarding me, I mean, I just kept shooting, and I was hitting. The little 26 people felt like 30 people. It was a lot. <laughs> they made a lot of noise. I read about Teddy Dupay this year and last year, and I watched the tape on him in my high school season last year when he played against um, Ely. He scored 56, and I read about his 56 in this tournament, and I never knew that was the record. I just thought he had a good 56 game. And when I, when I was at 53, I mean, I heard some people saying, you need four more points, and I went down and I had a four-point play. Then I missed the free throw, and I came back and hit another three. Hey, give him one more. Hey, give him one more. Kenny. The last bucket, they just told me to go score. I, I never reached 60 in the high school game. My highest was 50 in the high school game, but it felt good scoring 60. Go get it, Kenny. Go get it, man. Not three. That's something that you don't, you're not going to see ever um, in 32 minutes. You're not going to see that again. Hopefully it doesn't stop. I don't know, but Kenny Boynton, anything can happen. If he really wanted to or we help him, I think he could do 
anything. He could score 70 points if he wanted to. The kid was fantastic tonight. Unbelievable performance by Kenny Boyden. Ended up shooting the ball 22 of 33 uh, with 11 makes out of 18 three-point field goal attempts. I feel like it hasn't really hit me now yet. I mean, may, may, maybe down the road I realized what I did, but I'm still doing it, you know, I'm still, still going on, so it hasn't really hit me yet. Kenny knows this too. He said to me, you know, records are made to be broken, and he knows that means the other side too. He knows that someone eventually will score 63, but I think this record will, uh, will stick around for a while. It's an individual one, and uh, we congratulate Kenny. And he then said to me afterwards, he says, now all we have to do is just win, just win. Thank you.